because it's just sounded like a cluster fumble. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, this video was super, super, super long. So I'm going to crunch it down and speed it up. And I'm just going to do a voiceover and explain what I'm doing in the video so that it doesn't take so long. What I'm showing you is a pan full of paint that I don't use. It's extra paint and it is old, old, old paint. Some of this paint I've had since in my 20s when I was making dolls and painting their little noses pink or, or cheeks or whatever. So some of this paint is like 30 plus years old. So I'm on a mission to use up some paint. I've been on a mission to use up paper. So I'm on a mission to use up stuff in general. So what I'm doing there is I'm taking some index cards and I think those are the five by six size, I'm not real sure. And I'm gonna take extra paint and I'm just gonna start mixing up colors and swiping up the paint on the cards and then adding some stuff to the cards later on as I go and making some starter cards. So that's what this video is, just making a bunch of starter cards and the process we're gonna go through to get there. I've got my work area clear and I'm gonna start dumping out paint colors on the mat and just start swiping it up with the index card. In a second, the video is gonna slow down because Oscar makes a little appearance. He starts scratching at my arm and then you can see his nose. Look at the bottom right corner of the screen and you'll see his little face pop in and out a few times. He's so cute, he's so sweet. So I'm just dumping out paint, and in a second I'm going to swipe it up with my card. I think There he is. You see his nose, and he's going to put his little head in. He's, there's his paw. He's trying to get my, his, my attention. <laughs> he's so cute. I just love this dog. He's like, <laughs> he wants my attention. Okay, okay, back to work. So, as you can see, I'm just dumping out paint. So in a second, like I said, I'm gonna pick up a card any second. Come on, pick up a card. You can do it. Pick up that card. Go for the card. Go for the card. Shake, shake, shake. Go for the card. All right, no time for. Gee whiz, just pick up the card. <laughs> Clean up the mess. There we go. Picking up a card. Oh, put the card down. Oh, more color. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now mush, mush, mush. Now I'm gonna start making my cards. So that's basically what I'm doing through most of the video. I'm just gonna change colors. And a little bit of it I'm going to speed up even faster because, and I know some of you don't like the really, really fast, but it really is just repetitive work. And I'm doing the same process over and over. And we'll get to the end and we'll see what the cards look like. Now there's a big piece of paper there. It's like 11 by 15 or something like that. And I'm just cleaning up the excess on my mat. And at the end I show you what the paper looks like. It's a big hot mess. But we're going to fix it and we're going to make something out of that paper. Probably what I'll do is I'll just add some more to it and then I'll maybe cut it down into ATC size or something like that. So there I am doing a lot of talking. I was in a chatty mood, I guess, but you know, the video is just too long for that. And I just don't think people will want to see a three hour video. It's actually three and a half hours. So more cards. And I'm going to go a little faster now. I've cleaned up my mat and I'm going to switch colors. And some of this paint is so old that it's coming out watery and I have to shake it really hard to blend it up and mix it up. And that's okay. It's all right. It's old. Just use it anyway. And it's just a starter card, so it's not a big deal. And I just love some of these color combinations, but some of them are looking like a hot mess. But in the end, I really like how they turned out. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of this color and then we'll move on to the next color. The cleanup I do with that large paper that you see in a second is the worst mess I've ever made in my life, I think. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But I'm really anxious to work with that paper and get something out of it. I think it could be turned around, don't you? So I'm doing a little cleanup again, and we're going to change into the green colors. Phoebe, don't look. And I'm just going to do a bunch of blending of greens and make a mess with those. A little cleanup, a little more green, and in a second I'm going to line up a bunch of the cards and show you what they look like at this point, and then we'll go to the next step. But i got to get the rest of that green up, so. And I'm spraying a little water, too, to help me clean up and use that big paper. So there's the cards. They're all lined up there, 
and some of them are okay, some of them are not, and there's going to be more at the end because when I use the stamps, I, I create another card or two, I think. Those are India inks, and I just pulled those out to play around and drop drops all over the cards and see what happens, and I just add water as I go and I make a mess with these for a while. They are permanent inks, so once they dry, they won't move again. And some of the cards look a little better after they're added. I like the green one, and some of them don't. But I keep working at it until I get where I want to go. I like that reddish one, the orangey red one. And I like the purples with the red added. That's pretty. That I don't know about. Well, it's okay. Not my favorite. Anyway, here we are with some stencils now. I keep my stencils in some photo albums, and this is the smaller stencil. Actually, it's the medium-sized stencils, and I'm going through and I'm just picking out the ones I want. And I think I tell you in the video as I'm working what the stencils are, but now that I'm fast-forwarding it, I don't know. One was from a Balzer design, and the other one was, uh, I don't know, deco art maybe? I can't remember, but... Um, just use whatever stencil you like. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to put stenciling all over the different cards and I will show you what they look like at the end. We're kind of we're kind of going to go through a few just so you can see, but then I'll chop out a big chunk of it because even fast forwarding this video, it's still like 45 minutes long and a lot of it's just repetitiveness, like I said. So I'll just show you a little bit. And I really like the stenciling. That's not black. That's actually a really dark blue color, which I like, but it looks black from afar. So, you get the idea. Just use your stencils on top of whatever mess you've made, and we'll go from there. So, let's hop over to the next step. I kind of got ahead of myself. The next step is stencils again. What I had done was I pulled out three stencils to start with, and then I decided I wanted three more. So I just went through my book and I found three more stencils, and then I'm just going to do some more stenciling. And I'll just show you a little bit more. I love this stencil right there. It uh, really looks good on the cards. I was trying to cover those um, feathers. I didn't like the way that turned out. So I'm going over the, the stencil with the feathers with the sun stencil. And I love that. I love how that turns out. So that's what I'm doing now is more stenciling. So let's go on to the next step. So at this point in the video, I think I stopped and I was showing you guys what the individual cards look like after all the stenciling. So I slowed this part down so that I could show you each individual card. And some I like, some not so much, but we're not done. We're going to keep going. And I really like the the way those first stencils, uh, the first cards looked. And I like the blue. I like that one. Mm, not so much that one right now. Love that one. Mm, it's okay. Love that one. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> you can see that some are good, some are not. So let's keep going. The next thing I decide I'm going to do is do some stamping. That doesn't last very long because the couple of stamps that I did on the card I don't like. So I'll show you what they look like and then we'll move on to the next thing that I decide to try because I didn't like this. So here we go. We're going to make one little stamp and I just, I think later I came back and did like it, but right now not loving it. So I quit right after I did this one here and we went on to something else. See, they're back in a stack now because I didn't like the stamping, so I stacked them back up and I'm talking to you guys. You see my hands moving, and I'm telling you that I don't like that, and so we're going to try something different. So the next thing I try is my China marker in white, and I'm just making lines, and it didn't go the way I wanted it to. I didn't love it, so I abandoned that after trying it on a card. And here we are going to the next thing, which is some stamps. Some stamps I made out of sponges and I'm going to try that. I know that I like this a lot better and I stick with it a lot longer and this is where a couple of more cards 
come into the picture because I wanted to get rid of the excess paint off those stamps. So I grabbed a couple of index cards and I just started stamping on those cards. Now what I just did was I stuck my stamps inside water in my water jar and I just got them wet and I just squeezed out the excess moisture and water so that they would be flexible. You can use them dry but I prefer to use them damp and I really like the heart stamp there that I made so I was showing you a close-up but in the end you'll see them so I don't have to slow this down. Anyway we do some stamping and I think that I, I really like that that process and then I'll show you the next step because we're going to skip over. I'm not going to show you every card that I'm doing because like I said this video is really long so let's go on to the next thing. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I did change colors on my stamps, so you can see the little turquoise hearts there. The next thing I'm going to do is I went through my drawer and I pulled out a bunch of rub-ons. I have a bunch of rub-ons I want to use up. If you don't use them after a long period of time, some of them go bad and they don't work anymore. Uh, some of them do work. So I wind up with a couple of pages that don't work and I have to throw them away because they just aren't any good anymore. But what I want to do is I want to take the rub-ons and I want to scrape them off on the cards. Now those are stickers and I'm going to use that on one of the cards. I hate it. I don't like the way it turns out at all. So at some point later on, and I don't know if you'll see it or not, I remove all those stickers and abandon that idea. It was just too stark. They were too shiny. I just didn't like it. And I didn't want to take time to try to cover them with paint or acrylic, I mean not acrylic, um, with ink or anything like that and change the color of them. So I just got rid of them. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this rub-on sheet and I'm just going to start rubbing on, I don't know what I'm showing you. Oh, I'm showing you the date on the sticker. If you look at the stickers of things you buy, there's a little date on there. and You can usually tell, unless they've changed how they do things since I worked in retail, there's a little date on there and you can tell the month that these were, I guess, put on the shelf. But um, these were back from 2011 and some of them still worked, but some of them didn't. Anyway, so I'm just going to go all over the cards with these rub-ons and just fill it up with different things. I'm not going in any rhyme or reason. I'm not trying to make any kind of scene. I'm just adding the rub-on in different areas on the card. I love that little blue bird in the black heart. That really was pretty, I thought. So after I remove the white sticker, I'll like it a lot better. So I'm going to let you see a little bit more of the rub-on work. And then we're going to go on to the next thing that I do, which I don't remember what I do. This may be the last step. I can't remember. So here's another rub-on package, and I'm going to cut out some of these because this package here I could tell was real sticky, and they were going to work really well. So I didn't want everything rubbing off at the same time, so I just chose little pieces of it that I wanted to put on the card, and I cut it out and put it on that way. And I do remember there is another step, so this isn't the last thing that I do. It's kind of hard to remember after you filmed something a long while ago. This has been filmed for, I don't know, a week or two, and I've done so many other things, and I just don't remember if sometimes when I go to edit over uh, the voiceover what I've done. I have to speed ahead and, and see. Anyway, I love that card that's sitting there in front of us, and I think the, the rub-ons really make it look pretty. So let's go ahead and skip to the next step. You guys get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just putting rub-ons on the card every which way. So the next step is paint splatters. I decided that I wanted white paint splatters on all the cards. I loved how this turned out. It was a big mess though. I got white paint splatters over everything on my table. I got it all over me, my face, my glasses, everything because of the way I did it. But it was worth it. You should probably do it in an environment you don't want paint splatters everywhere if you're going to do it. But you know me, I just do it because that's what I want to do at the moment and I deal with the consequences later. I even got it on my floor and had to go back and scrape up little dry flecks of paint. Probably Oscar had some on him, but his fur you can't tell because he was laying real close to the table. Anyway, the way I was doing this, I love the, the way the paint fell on the cards. It wasn't just drops, it was like streaks because I used a big brush, lots of water, lots of paint, and I was just tapping it real hard with my hands, and my hands got really filthy too. So I really like the addition to the white paint on the cards. So now that you've seen that and you get the idea, let's go ahead and go to the next step, which is probably going to be me showing you what the cards look like after they're dry. Yep, we're at the end, and I'm going to show you all the cards. I slowed this section down so that you didn't have to struggle to see things flying by the screen. 
and some of you I know that don't like fast forward I apologize that sometimes it has to be that way but this video was over three and a half hours long and it would have taken forever to edit it down to a, a good size but there is a trick for those of you who don't like fast forward you can go to the little gear icon on your videos and you can change the settings so that your video plays slow now if there's music or talking going on it will slow that down too so just mute your sound if you don't want to hear that and you can slow the video down so that you can see the process a little better I try to only fast forward the really repetitive stuff so that you don't have to see painting over and over or gluing over and over stuff like that so hopefully that helps too I love how these cards turned out they I think are beautiful and now I have starter cards that I can use for well I don't have all of them I sent a lot of them out in happy mail with the giveaway we just had and for those of you who contacted me to let me know that your package arrived I appreciate that I didn't check all the tracking numbers but I assume everything got to everybody okay but those of you who did contact me thank you and I can take some of these cards and I could cut them into ATC size the ones I have left and uh, I'll probably be making more because these were a lot of fun and I was thinking after I was watching at the end there where I gathered them all up and I'm doing a little fan flip through that I could make a journal out of these and that would be cool you can see the backs of them are not finished they're left raw you can journal on the back you can cover the back with paper, you can paint the back, you could stencil and play on the back and make them double-sided. You could fold them in half and make them little journals. I'm thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about making a bunch of iCAD cards, well, I should say index cards, and just turning them sideways and making a bunch of little journals out of them. So that may be the next thing I do with what I have left over. So anyway, it's an easy way to use up extra paint to use up some of your extra stenciling, not stenciling, your rub-ons or whatever you have in your stash and have just relaxing playtime. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what you can get from just playing around with a bunch of junky paint that you're gonna get rid of. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for being here and have a great whatever it is. Bye-bye.